Hello, and welcome to our SEMrush SEO Toolkit course. My name is Ashley Ward. I'm a digital marketing strategist at SEMrush and a passionate digital marketer. I'll guide you through this course. In this module, we'll start our SEO journey with learning how to do a competitive analysis. Understanding your competition and identifying their strengths and weaknesses is an indispensable first step of building your own SEO strategy. It's very important to always be aware of what your rivals have done. Study their best practices and learn from their mistakes to avoid making your own. When it comes to organic rankings, you really have to pay double attention to your competitive environment since you can be unexpectedly outranked by indirect rivals who decided to target the same keyword. A perfect starting point to really perform competitive research and find the gaps in your competitor strategy is to get to the big picture by using the Domain Overview Report. This provides you with a quick overview of any query domain's overall search engine presence. With this report, you can see your competitor's estimated organic and paid traffic, number of backlinks. You can analyze its top keywords in terms of organic positions, recent position changes, advertising keywords as well. And you can preview other organic and paid search reports. Let's explore the report. First, let us see what the domain overview report provides you. If you like, feel free to follow along in your own SEMrush account. The practice will allow you to show your proficiency later when taking the exam. So start by typing in your competitor's domain name in the search box. Then choose the desired database and decide whether you want to obtain mobile or desktop data. You will see all the essential information on a query domain, including organic and paid traffic and keywords, keywords distribution between databases, Organic traffic cost, which is an estimation of how much it would cost if your competitor were to bid on organic keywords through Google Ads. Paid traffic cost, the number of backlinks, AdSense data, and comparison between organic and paid traffic. If you scroll down, you will see the information broken into several sections. From the SEO standpoint, the most important is the organic search section. It comprises several subsections of the most representative data. The top organic keywords list, which basically shows you the keywords that drive the highest amount of traffic. The organic positions distribution list, with the help of which you can judge what portion of your rival's keywords actually hits the spot. There's also the main competitors list and the competitive positioning map. Here you can find the list of organic competitors suggested by SEMrush based on a percentage of common organic keywords. The branded search widget, the branded versus non-branded graph, and the branded traffic trend. A high amount of non-branded search traffic can be a sign of effective SEO, implying that a website gets traffic from searches that don't actually have any brand loyalty or intention. All of these subsections provide you with an overview of your competition strategy in organic search and presence in organic positions. You can click on every piece of data to fall through to the appropriate report in the organic research section, which we will review later on in this module. Let's conclude. This lesson was devoted to the domain overview report, which helps you to take a bird's eye view of your competitor's strategy and the results of their SEO activities in organic search. This also allows you to gain an upper hand over your competition.